How's it going everyone? This is Dave from Wet Fly Swing and uh, today I'm going to tie the Zebra Midge. This is a standard uh, classic fly and I'm going to start off with a um, some old Mustad hook C49S size 14 just kind of a curved caddis hook and uh, to start with I'm going to switch around and put the bead in. I've got the bead right here um, and my hackle pliers. I'm just going to drop this in with the nose, uh, the short end in first, and then I'm going to slide that around. Then I'll pick it up here and put it back in. So what I'm going to do too is turn this because we're going to tie it all the way down. Um, so eventually I'm going to turn it, but I'm going to start off with some just the normal eight dot, eight dot uni here. And uh, this one comes to us from Gary Borger. Uh, if you haven't heard of Gary Borger, he is a guy that knows his stuff. Um, he's been around a long time. In fact, he's the guy that pretty much wrote one of the, the first books on nymphing, um, kind of modern nymphing. So I'm gonna switch this around like this, as you can see, so I can switch and tie all the way down. I'm going to go all the way back, all the way down to about there. I'm going to switch back and do, um, get my um, kind of small uh, ultra copper wire. Just get a little of this off here. Use the different scissors for that. And I'm just going to slide this in right here and just start wrapping and trying to keep it fairly even. As you're doing this too, you can um, flatten out your thread by spinning it. Um, some, it depends on your thread. Some th thread is pretty already fairly flat, but I'm going to spin it just counterclockwise to loosen that up a little bit. Um, this one's still, this one's pretty good. So I'm going to go all the way down. Don't go too far, but right about there, just enough. And then I'm going to come back and just build, build the body close together and then I'll stop right here as I get get to the front here and then I'll go back so I'm just going to kind of taper it a little more towards the front it's already nice and built up at the front I'm just going to give, go back and just give it a little more about there Just about like that. And then it's just a matter of spinning this copper wire. Try to keep it as even as you can. As you wrap up. This is kind of the, I guess the hard part, but go about there and then I'm gonna tie a wrap it here. And I'll wrap in front a few times. I just kind of should be able to just spin it and just helicopter off. And that's pretty much the bulk of this pattern. The only other thing you can do is add a little bit of, um, kind of a little bit of a thorax. And I'm going to use some of this polar dub. Um, Peacock is also a good one. I'm just going to break off a little bit. And that's way too much. Just enough to let it stick out. about like that. Let some stuff hang there and I'm just gonna wrap kind of towards the front just like that. You can pull it tight. It gives it just that little something extra there. That's pretty much it. Um, tie this off. So again, uh, Gary Borger, I noted, um, was on the podcast in episode uh, 45 great episode. He um, went into a bunch of, oh, just killer tips on nymphing and, and kind of the history and stuff like that. So um, you should check that out, that one out for sure. But he mentioned when I asked him, and I've been going through this series on the, um, the videos here, that um, he noted, uh, you know, I kind of asked, what are your top um, couple of flies? So the zebra midge is, was one of his all-time favorites. So just, um, you know, I'm trying to hit up some of these guys and, and not, you know you may have heard about this one you may not have but um just realize that this is one of the classics you can it's already got a few little i like to have a little 
some stuff picked out there, so that's good. But um, but yeah, there you go. That was a quick one, a nice easy one. The the zebra midge, um, and uh, we'll be hitting in. I'm not sure what the fly, what fly I have going next, but stay tuned, and we'll jump into the next one. And uh, hit subscribe if you get a chance. That'd be awesome. And the other thing we have going is the uh, Patreon page, wetflyswing.com/patreon, and this is where you can help support and get some bonus uh, content over there if you want to check that out. Uh, show notes. I'll have links to this stuff, and we'll see you soon. Bye.